yeah. Okay, so whilst we wait, I think I'll have another one more game. This is, uh, I'm giving stream a bit of a rest of the moment as I try and boost up on my dev, game dev skills, but, um, uh, what was his name? G, what was his name? Stephen GG69 was saying, or was said, oh, this game's just like a horror game. Because it, that's the feeling, isn't it? It's the feeling of, and there was that mean picture of um, this guy just in a corner, huddled up, uh, crying as as grenades go off and the guys come in, and uh, and it's that feeling, isn't it, where you just like, I'm in real trouble here. There's five of them. There's one of me. Everyone else is dead. And uh, they're all expecting me to save them in clutch save. And they're all shouting out and screaming and losing their shit. And uh, I just thought, yeah, yeah, this game is a horror game. It's not um, It's not just an FPS. It's, uh, it's got the elements of a horror game. So that's why the connection with Dead by Daylight is, except this game is... I would say it's a bit more frightening than Dead by Daylight, because Dead by Daylight, although that's pretty, to be fair, that is quite, a, it's like quite a scary game, and that's got a lot more horror aspects to it. But this game, it's just like that feeling when you are completely outgunned by people that are just coming to kill you. <laughs> You're like, oh, where's my exit? <laughs> I want to get to the chopper, but there is no chopper. So they need a chopper in this game to get to, to run away from it all. Summon chopper, run away. So, uh, yeah. And the fact that it's five people, it's not just one. You're not just fighting one horrendous killer. You're fighting five. Uh, yeah, so just that whole analysis I thought was really interesting. But uh, this game is more of a horror game. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a memory of Bronze Girl, her first experience of playing this game, which is just hiding in the in the main room, going, "What's going on?" And everyone's dying, and she's, you know, it's. it's I love it because that's kind of, I think what I feel an experience would be like. Like, it's the kind of experience they're going for in the Vietnam films as well, where you've got the new group coming in and going, and that song, what's going on? Uh, what's going on here? There's something happening here. What it is isn't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there telling me I've got to be aware. So um, you go in and you're going, what the hell is going on here? And then black, black, everyone's dying, exploding around you. Same with Saving Private Ryan. So, um, what an interesting way of looking at it. Because there's just no safe areas to really hunker down and be safe. It's all just kind of like there's no there's no safe camping spot, which I suppose is good design. Right, who shall we ban? Ying is high up now on the candidates of banning. I'll do one game whilst I ponder is Rainbow Six a horror game genre? So imagine Dead by Daylight, but instead of one versus five, it's five. I think you need to have one main horror thing and then four little minions winged monkeys both of which I I just hate the game design on Clash and um, I like the game design on Kavera but trouble is if you've got noobs feeding Cav then everyone dies and then the noob dies to Cav 
and then immediately screams abuse at the other people that have died because they don't say anything, they just go silent. Then you hear this, oh, interrogation, and then everything, you know, and then it all kicks off, and then they scream at you for dying or not, not being in there trying to assault when they've just given away everyone's location. Right, okay, who are we going to play? Oryx for the lols. Chai hards for the doctors. Lols a doctor. Lols a doctor. No dog. Could have gone for um, Rook as well. Who else would have been good? Music's a bit loud for me at the moment. I had to put the volume up. I'm trying to listen in to some kid who was mumble, mumble, mumble. Audio. Music volume. Five will do. It's like six to me. No, right. Three, four. I think it's applied. Protect the bombs. I think it's applied. Don't know. Right, so I am Doc. Here. I love being able to put cameras down. Don't oh. give it away my plan here. Five seconds. Probably not gonna live very long. Op 4 has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. You will be detected if you remain in this area. You have been spotted by Op 4. Fall back. Come on, me, you know me. Oh, that's it for that. somewhere else. Reloading back. He's upstairs. Friendly and victorious. Hostiles eliminated. That was fun, I enjoyed that.
I lose the duck again, and I should heal people as well. He's a bit lame, Game Doc, but I'm still learning how to shoot with him, so that's my justification. The coolest one for me to play would be Oryx, because I just don't have a clue then. Plus the fact that I'm constantly humming and hawing between the shotgun and the machine gun. Secure the bombs. All right. So, what is my point? Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't have. Where? Well, that one, I think. Should have had it aimed and ready. Cocked and loaded. Op 4 has located a bomb. Sensor deployed. All moved on. He's in, he's going tunnel. The last one's sentry. One friendly on site. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Go back to that one. We needed more cameras. Ah, oh, someone else is doing the cameras. Who's that? Someone knows. Someone knows. And I shouldn't have competed with her. With the hold my beer. Get your cameras up. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. I'd normally put two Valk cameras on site, one on each site.
zone, you will be detected by hostiles. You have been spotted by hostiles. Fall back. Always worth a can drop that to me, it's obvious. Not sure as Doc I should be the guy off site. Kind of hankering for doing a bit of GTA Online again. Fishing, I miss it. I miss the miss the fishing, the watching everyone else get banned and having all salt and getting all cops and robbers, and there's me just making loads of money fishing. I miss it. This way, come on, hang back. Op four eliminated. Mission successful. I'm definitely a lot better than I was. I wonder how I'll be at level 300. Even better than I am now. That, without a shadow of a doubt. Hard breach. Hard breach, yeah. I can only just hear you. You need a bit of mic. Is anyone else having difficulty hearing him? Or is it just me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a bit quiet for us, so. Yeah, so, what are we saying? Getting better, definitely getting better, definitely getting skilled. Less shouting of toxic abuse. You need some sort of booster on it. More Fox is pretty good. Um, so, insertion in ten seconds. Ho hum. Right, what was I talking about? Um, you found a bomb. Make your way to its location and about it. Oh, it's theirs. How do we text sucks? I really miss that. Let's reload so I don't get ganked in there. Yeah, I miss people not ganking me right now. 
leaping out the window and just shooting me. Yeah. Then I can reach something. Here at the moment, there's another one. Window. You located a bomb. Plant if you can. Way too many bullets. Um, yeah, so what was I talking about before I, I'm going to just play this game and then, unless we lose, if we lose I'll play another one. Hold my beer. Yeah, that, that's Carly's not a bad choice. Carly's not a bad choice, is it? You can, you can back up if Thatcher dies. Hold my beer didn't know which operator to choose. Lion's quite good. Stops people getting storm peaked. Huh? Is it the same place? It's even worse now, Ethan. Five seconds it's insertion. gone. You must locate and defuse a bomb. Same place, I reckon. You located a bomb. No. no. Did I get it? See, so got it. Okay, let's try and do this again without dying. Next level people will be out here doing a quick patrol. Maybe that's what I should do. Okay, yeah, start.
GG. Yeah, when I play like that, I feel like. Yeah, when I play like that, I feel like I could uh, I could play ranked. <laughs> Cause I just can't be bothered with the um, I can't be bothered with the uh, the aggravation of the two-step verification because they're always feck up, and then it's like, oh, do you remember your password? And, and what about this? And what about that? And oh, I mean, we need your mobile number. And uh, uh, no, just no, I stay away from that. Stay on the ranked. And to be honest, the percentage of awesome games to awesome games to really kind of well, wins to losses is 50 50, maybe slightly more wins than losses. And then the horrendous, salty horror fests. How many are there? There's one in ten. One in ten games is just people getting really nasty because they suck. They suck, and the first thing they do is blame other people. I've actually set up some voice emotes. Uh, I'll play them for you to save to to save me having to say the same thing over and over again. I set up some voice emotes. Here they go. I am level, I am level 200, 200 plus, plus game. game. 2,000, 2000 hours, hours. Tens, tens of thousands of hours in the FPS. I've got four, I've got four rules, rules for you. One. One. Positive, positive voice, voice comms, comms means wins. 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 Two. Two. Say or say or type where you died. Who killed, killed you to help team to win. Three. Three. When you die, use cameras and drones, and drones to help team to win. Burn them if time is running out. Next to scan. Four. Ask yourself. What could I have done better before I died and got so angry? That was one. No, 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 okay. One. okay. You ask me, you ask me how, how I can, how be, I can this be this level. level. I, will tell, I will tell you. I am this level, am this level because, because I win, I win a, lot. a lot. I farm, I farm on, rank on rank for easy, for easy wins, wins and I stay, and I stay to the end on losses. I'm a support, I'm a support main. main. Put up cameras, Put up cameras and, drones, and drones. I should be able, I should be able to double, double your KD, KD and win rates. Rate. I win, I win because, because I try to use cameras and voice in a positive way to increase my win rate. As you, should, As you know, should know, the netcode net in, in this game is absolutely, absolutely shocking. shocking. Chronic, chronically bad. bad. And that's part of the problem with the uh, the horror feel. The horror feel is, imagine if you were an SAS guy or someone like that, a soldier, but your gun jams all the time and you've got to wear goggles or you've got to wear something that slows you by 50%. Some sort of, I don't know, something. And that's that's kind of the feeling. It's not just being in a very dangerous situation, even though it's simulated. It's being in a very dangerous situation where you, you, your gun doesn't work half the time, or it's moving too slow and stuff. So it adds to the sense of fear and dread. So there you go. And the last one is when people keep asking me about my age. You know, because they get all salty because they're they're sucking. And they're blaming me. So uh, this is this is like none of your none of your business. I'm not giving, I'm not giving out personal information. information to raging, raging, dodgy, dodgy pronks on the internet. internet. Thanks. And a pronk is a South African buck that jumps up in the air, which is pretty much what they're doing. Like gormless pronks jumping up and getting shot in the face, and then getting all angry with me. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> so it's such a snide, so snide, man. Anyway, that's uh, those are my voice emotes that I've set up to deal with uh, the worst of the. Because uh, basically, it gets very, very boring having to say this. First of all, I've got to think of what to say, which uh, when I'm busy trying to win or I'm in the middle of the game, it's quite difficult. And secondly, it gets very, very tiring saying the same stuff over and over again. It's like. it's. So I'm really keen on voice emotes. I think they're a really good idea. And um, yeah, I can imagine that for um, RP, you could have a whole load of voice emotes, especially if you're a cop or something, where you know you've got a standard procedure for. For example, you could have one for reading the rights. You have the right to remain, and you just click it, and then you don't have to think about the rest. But it just it all just takes pressure off the voice and stuff. So anyway, that's just some of my thoughts on. Is Rainbow Six actually a horror game? 
and I think there's certain definitely some very cool game analysis on on the fact that it that it, it really is as well as the first it's a first person horror game and I think that's really interesting without too much gore.